Anyways, while they're selecting your decks, they're gonna get ready for round one of round two. Or actually, match one of round two, which is River Trip, the most one of the most popular maps in Table Turf history. Double Cookie's going to start off with Captain and uh, Callie, as well as the Ball Point. And Captain, on the other hand, is pretty good at starters, though. Really great openers, if you know what I mean. Really opens well with at least a Gnarly Eddy in between. And speaking of Gnarly Eddy, Aaron is P1 starting off with a Gnarly Eddy. What kind of trick route are we seeing today, ladies and gentlemen? Will we see some good? Will we see some bad? Let's find out today. Double starting off with a Kali, figuring out if they're going to place it down or not. While Aaron is getting ready to go for a Pierce, and it seems like he placed Cuttlefish, and there goes Cuttlefish taking over a Kali special block spot. This smells trouble for good old Double Cookies, and I do not like it any other way. But who the heck cares? It's Table Turf Battle. Double Cookies is gonna squeeze through the Cuttlefish with a Splatana Wiper, but wins the clash with Splash Mob. Both both players are going to get special points, and to, and believe it or not, it seems like Double is already going to save up all that special points for some special farming. Seems like he, it seems like they have a lot, lot of card synergy to begin with. Maybe they're going to place down that rocking bird somewhere. Maybe right next to the captain and see if they have any other card to deal with. And it looks like Slusher squeezes through from Eren as Eren tries to go aggro with that. What a nice prediction from Eren. Double Cookies has successfully blocked it for now, but it's only just the beginning as they're going to get ready for the main event. And, in, and by main event, I mean endgame. Once Eren gets himself a third special block already in the works, they're going to attack even aggressively with either a splatter color screen or eventually Zipcaster. Because let's face it, Double Cookies is struggling at this point. And my best card recommendation for me personally, before, for example, Aaron uh, blocks off that one space next to Gnarly Eddy, right next to Gnarly Eddy and in between the middle, it seems like Paintbrush is and uh, Angle Shooters are their best bet in between. But it looks like Double's going to play very early with a splatter color screen. And there goes Aaron with that special. Oh my goodness, we have, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron is, has gotten himself three special blocks, meaning 1312 can actually end off Double Cookie's match for this round. Seems like Double's going to hopefully hope for the best with the heavy splat and deco. But will Aaron at least go full on aggro? Or will double use a call Hozuna and just defend for all of their life? Let's hope that E-Leader still saves it. Oh, he's switching back to heavy, and there it is. Aaron's using the charger to aggressively attack Double's base. Oh my goodness, we might see a comeback from Double, but unfortunately though, seems like Double is running out of cookies. If it were if there were egg-shaped cookies. He would have counted, they would have counted their eggs before they hatch. Looks like we're near end game though. But it seems like, however, comma, Aaron is P1 going for an actual, actual comeback. He might go for, you know, he might go for an actual comeback if Double is not careful. And it looks like both players got themselves one special point each after the clash between Toxic Mist and the Sprinkler. And it seems like he wants that. Looks like Double Cookies wants that little jud, but both players are bricked. They each get another special point. He does. Double Cookies has a spot for the little jud, but let's hope for the best. And there's that spot for the little jud. Just enough for that. For that inkjet. Aaron, his P1 still has the points lead, but will Double Cookies actually stop them in time? Will they stop him in time at least for a huge comeback? Let's hope Aaron has a good specials placement. And there goes the overlay on the splat screen. Guaranteed 12 points from Aaron. And it seems like Aaron might be a winner. And there it is, folks. Aaron is P1, got himself another dub for the match. It's now 1-0 between Double Cookies and Aaron is P1. What a shocking performance out there.
that is a very, very classic overlay, and we wouldn't see this coming regardless. Well, while we get ready for the next match, Double is by far taking care of their deck and replacing it with another one or something like that. They're editing their decks as we speak, and so far, from what I've seen from Aaron, even though... Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, in the matchup so far, it seems like even though River Drift was their best map possible, I definitely wouldn't expect a Cuttlefish taking over Kali. Really, really amazing. In turn two, what a- what, that is like- that is pure luck over there. Pure exact luck, and I don't think either of those cards would definitely be down- uh, like, would definitely be down and out. Either way though, Aaron going with that- Aaron, Aaron going with a full-on attack it, before endgame. And while we get- and now we get ready for round two of the match, and it's going to be pedal to the metal. With starting off with six special blocks, it seems like Double is going to place down their best, of course, special- it's best openers as much as they possibly can. And Aaron is only going for- Aaron is actually going for some aggro plays. Holy cow, it seems like Aaron is really trying to go for some aggro plays. And there it goes! The Kali and Marie duo! The duo starter, holy cow. That's actually kind of interesting though. Seems like Double is trying to attack aggressively from Aaron. Let's say Aaron is going to attack Double's opener base on either side, and there it goes. But it looks like Aaron can- it, but it looks like Double can squeeze through just so fine. And they can pick either side, of course, but Double decides to go ahead and defend for their honor. Seems like they're defending at this point, and of course, they both blocked off each other. But unfortunately for, uh, for Aaron, there's still another opener still up and running. And we did see some good combo cards, so to say the least. We see a lot from Double, though. And it looks like Double would have played Crack on there either way, but instead, Double is going for that little shot against Aaron's Jalonzo. And not gonna lie, I'm not expecting to see two Jalonzos and two Squid Sister cards in, in this map. And I'm not expecting that to happen entirely. Maybe Aaron might go for a ZNF charger for an actual mirror, an actual mirror matchup. Not a mirror matchup, but an actual mirror deck. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely seeing that one. And it looks like Deal Eel is Devil's only fair card, unless they have a splat screen they can play either on the last turn or in the last possible moment. Oh my goodness, double steel eel? Holy guacamole! I was not expecting Aaron and double to mirror in front of it. That is a huge steel eel mirror. Holy cow, that is actually amazing. Totally amazing there, ladies and gentlemen. While Aaron is getting ready to use tent attack to farm a lot of special points, that's a lot of special points, by the way. Doubles got bricked, I believe. And either they're going to pass or they're going to play the Cold Blood Bandit Shiver. This might be hype. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be hypeful. This might be a hype moment, though. Double is playing Gold Dino Roller. Hopefully trying to find a good spot with it, but fails, I guess. Oh, I think they might go for it. I think he might go for it, though. I think he's going to pass. Both players have passed and they're waiting for one of them to fumble and fight back. Will this be enough at least? Seems like seems like Double is now ready for that 312. But unfortunately, but fortunately, however, we have an E-leader. Maybe this might be it. Maybe this might be the one. This might be the run. I'm hoping that Aaron can go for a loser's bracket run if uh if he gets at least one match done, so at, at most. If double gets hit, uh, if doubles gets their last card drawn, a octopod, then there's a slim chance though. 
Uh, and it looks like Octavio comes in from Aaron is P1. And while Aaron has a lot of spe Oh my goodness, Double Cookies has officially gave up because they got themselves the Octopod. Giving, giving Aaron a huge sweep. A huge 2-0 sweep right there. I was... They were not, I was not expecting not just that, but also a good play on play by play from Aaron once again. They're still selecting their decks as usual, getting ready for round number three. It's still it's going to be a best of five. And I am expect I don't know if I'm gonna see if Aaron is P1 going for an actual true sweep. We're, rematch, we're going to run back with this map once again, and Double Cookies might have some good openers with Captain and and the Mudmouth, though. Aaron starting off with Octavio, which is not that common entirely, but still good nonetheless. Seems like Double is going to aggressively try their best to play Mudmouth in there, but Aaron is going to hopefully win the Clash. With the Scala! Oh wait, never mind, it's not the Clash with the Scallop though. They're still tied regardless. Seems like they're going to use- Seems like though, Double is playing Gold Dynamo Roller. Maybe Eren might go for a Steelio or a Splat Charger, because if they have either of those, then... Oh my goodness though. Okay, Jal Jalfonso from Eren, going in with that. Going in with the attack- with the- Base farming. You're going in with base farming, though. That's fair, I guess. Oh, and it looks like Double is planning out with that Octo Stamp right there. Maybe, hopefully, a block off in between. That would have been a great block off if Octo Stamp was right next to that Scallop, though. And there it is, the Steelio from Aaron, though. From Aaron, from Aaron, there goes a Steel Eel. And it seems like Aaron is going to use their best 312 in their in doubles base combo to naturally sweeten the entire deal. Oh, and it looks like Double is going to play Splat Charger, one of the most popular long card maps in the entire game. It, doubles is going, going aggro at this point. And there it goes. Judd blocked off the Charger. That is a huge, huge mistake. And it looks like Double is going to play that Power Clam. And he's he's actually... Tr they're trying their best, though, at this point. At this point, they're trying their best, even though they have to pass. They're gonna pass up that E-Leader, regardless, though. Aaron going for three special blocks, enough for a 312. And it seems like Octopod might be the savior for this one. Because Octopod sometimes might be useful with a mud mouth. But Slosher, on the other hand, is going to squeeze right through Captain. And it looks like they're going to mess up their base combo with the Splat Charger. That's a free special. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a free special from Aaron is P1. And a lot of specials from Double. Can Double run this back a lot? Or will there be or will their cookies get crumbled? Double is going to play that Power Clam, but the Jell of Fleur is already bricked up and passed. Double is hoping for a 312 guaranteed, but their only problem is that Splat Screen might not be helpful when taking care of those special blocks. So it looks like he's he has, looks like they have no choice but to play the Ultra Stamp, but that gives uh, but that gives Aaron a free special block if it's placed there. Oh, and it looks like Double is going to naturally try their best with a Steel Eel to guarantee another 312. Hopefully at this point, they might they might stand a chance. And there goes, enough for a 312. Same with Aaron with that Tensa Missiles. And now with Aaron, and now Aaron with the special points lead. It's only a matter of time until Oh, that's a near perfect special. Seems like Double might have a chance to win with the Ultra Stamp. But Aaron, is he going to play the Splat Screen? Of course he's going to play Splat Screen. And there it goes. The Splat Screen from Aaron.
And for this match, it's gonna be Aaron by one point! Wow! A clean sweep by one point! And it looks like... Oh my goodness, though. It looks like... It looks like Aaron's P1 has won by one point! Holy 